What's going on everybody? Mr. C growing for B with a freaking logo. Look at this. Check it out fam. Alright, let's get into this here. We're going to calibrate these uh, Blue Lab instruments here. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the, uh, the solutions. Uh, the number one here, we use a uh, seven and then the number four, the pH four. And it's just a stable um, seven and a stable four. So what you want to do is turn it on. See, there's no check mark. There's supposed to be a check mark next to that pH there. But I'll show you that in a bit. We're going to get into this. This is the number one, the pH seven. So what you want to do is just kind of dip it in there. Make sure all the probe is uh, covered up. There's a little glass ball in there. Make sure all that is covered up. I just turn it on. Turn on the light here for us real quick. But anyways, just make sure everything's covered up like that. And then we're going to let it sit. Make sure that you let it sit. Make sure that it's going to be uh, not moving up and down or anything like that. So we're going to leave it in there just for a little bit here. And we'll um, go check out the Guardian meter. So this here's another nice little one here. Uh, badass for reservoirs and stuff like that. To calibrate it, you just hold this little guy. Just like the calibration on the little pin. It's going to come up with the 4. And then the next time is going to be the 7. Easy peasy. But that little beast is a badass unit if you guys want to keep your uh, your temperature, your humidity, and then the EC. Works amazing. But that white one right there, that white one there, that's going to be the EC. That's the top one there. That's going to show your PPMs. But here, let's get back into it. This guy should be ready now. What is it holding at? Oh, 7.1. Yeah, that's good enough. So we're going to hold the calibrate button right there, the middle button there. And then you're going to see it do a bunch of funky things. You're going to see it... Uh, flash a few times depending on how old your unit is and what what it is it's gonna blink it's gonna say calibrate and then it's gonna go through a couple zeros it might just uh, blink seven might blink four just let it go just let it roll keep it in there in between um, after in between dunking in between the seven and the four you want to make sure that it's clean so uh, just rinse it off in tap water anything like that uh, not anything in tap water um, you don't ever want to use RO in this guy this here, this here is going to be the second one that the solution that we're using number four. So same thing, we're just going to hold the button, calibrate it, and but at first you want to make sure that you leave it in there soaking, and it's not going up or down. You just want to make sure that it's getting a real true reading. So in the meanwhile, there's a little silicone cone in there with a little spongy thingy on it. You want to keep that moist because if it dries up, if it dries, it dies. That's what they all say. Kind of corny. But just little three drops of this, uh, what is it, K KLI, some solution. I don't know. You guys, can, we'll figure it out. What is it? Oh, anyway, let's get into this. See what it is. Uh, 4.2. So it should be a little bit lower. And I use all their instruments. I have the, what, the Guardian in there. I have the Trunch Meter. That was, that's going to just show EC. And then I got, that's another EC pin. Kind of just like the pH pin. But... What is it? But this little guy here, that truncheon, that thing's a workhorse, though. Yeah, I thought I, I thought it saw it go down 4.1, so it's still moving. All right. So this one here is only gonna show your EC and your PPMs depending on uh, what you want to see. So the first one there's EC, and then the PPM is 500 and 700, and then it just that's all it shows you. No temperature, no uh, no pH, no nothing. Just a plain old freaking stick. A badass one all right now this thing's still going on so here let's jump in here with this freaking wand here with the truncheon meter we'll see what uh see what it kind of kind of shows you how it works here so just dip it in here what is it saying uh 1.2 1.4 was that it yeah but there, it goes off all right so here let's go take it zoom in all right yeah, 1.2, 1.4. Perfect, perfect. All right, so what's this? 1.3. Freaking amazing. All right, see that little check mark right there? That means you're good and calibrated for our next month. All right, keep growing on and much love. And hug your loved ones. Subscribe, share, and tell a friend, Mr. C. And keep growing on.